this is very interesting serialized and deserialized bst is medium and serialized and deserialized binary tree is a hard problem hey guys welcome back today i am going to solve this problem from lead code 297 which is around serializing and deserializing binary trees okay there is no restriction on how your serialization and deserialization algorithm should work you just need to ensure that the binary tree can be serialized to a string and the string can be deserialized to the original tree structure okay so to solve this problem what we can do here we can use any dfs technique i will be using a pre order traversal and uh, serialize this tree first uh, into a string pre order traversal okay what we do here so we first visit the root and then we visit the left subtree and then the right subtree right so here also we will be using the same technique we will be visiting the root first and then you know create a string um, as and when we see a root node we will you know say append that into a string here we have to ensure that we also have to save the null um, to be able to deserialize it this is the only thing that you have to you know take care while serializing and deserializing as i said this is dfs recursion so let's write the base case first if root equal to null then will return null right but here we are going to return a string which will be used for deserializing the null character so we will return let us say string or some star what i mean here whenever i am deserializing the string and i encounter a star character then i will take that as a null node okay so yeah this is good now let us define a result initialize it to empty string we will do a period traversal so i can say result plus equal to root dot uh, val and now call the serialize method for left subtree and right subtree so result plus equal to comma plus serialize okay and then pass the root left and finally serialize pass the root right okay and return result let's come back to this question again if you see this example it is dealing with only one digit number but the question doesn't tell that only one digit number will be you know given in the tree node so you can ask this question to the interviewer if there are only one digit number or you know th there can be multiple digits involved for example two digit or three digit number or you know a negative number so this kind of questions you might want to ask to your interviewer because if only one digit numbers are involved uh, then we don't have to split the string we don't have to uh, use any delimiter also we can read one character by character and we can you know deserialize this okay good now let's write the deserialize method in the deserialize method what you need to do we need to actually you know uh, split this string by the comma delimiter and uh, you know work on the array right so what we need to do we need to actually write a helper method and in this helper method what we can do we can actually read one by one string and create the binary tree okay so now i can say return my helper method data dot split by comma right good and now my helper method will look like tree node and helper it will take an array of string i can call it nums okay good now let's write the base case or the termination step for this helper method one case is when we are done with all the strings in the given array then we can say we are done we can return from here yeah so we have to use some index right let's call it i so i can say if nums dot length equal to i then return null okay this is good this is one case okay now when we see a star then then also we have to say that it's a null node which can be appended to a left or a right subtree okay let's read this string first 
string i can call it number equal to nums i okay and if number equals star right then also i have to say return null okay good okay now if it is not a star then it's a number and that number has to be part of the node right so i can say tree node tree node root equal to new tree node and then integer dot value of number okay this looks good yeah so now what we can do we can call the helper method again for the left subtree and uh, for the right subtree also let's do that root dot left equal to helper and pass the norms again and root dot right equal to also yeah help helper norms but we have to ensure that we are incrementing the index to read the next string from the array so that can be done here okay and i have not yet defined the i yet so let me define it here let me make it global okay so that i don't have to pass it and you know remember the index okay and return root okay this looks good let's run this code okay this is good okay accepted okay yeah this looks good uh, before i submit let's see one more thing here note do not use global static variables okay so it is discouraging you to use the global variable so yeah that's good let's remove this global variable from the code remove this now we have to pass the i in our helper method but we have to ensure that the value is preserved throughout the recursion okay so what i can do here int array i of size 1 okay i'll pass a one size array and i'll pass this i and i'll change this prototype to pass array here instead of i inside the method yeah instead of i inside the method i will always refer the zero value okay so i can say i zero whereas this is i plus plus right so i need to say uh, i plus plus zero and yeah and now i'll have to pass this i and also pass this i okay now let's run this good now let's submit this okay good so we did good here faster than 45 percent which is not bad but anyway by using a string builder we can improve but this is an acceptable solution if you have given this particular solution you are good enough okay so next challenge serialize and deserialize bst bst is again a binary tree right let's see this bst is again a binary tree so the same solution should work here i don't think that i need to do any change to the code and it should work let me just copy that code here and let's see if it works okay i can say submit boom it worked see okay good let me see this description again okay okay this is binary search tree the encoded string should be as compact as possible maybe this is one thing that you know you might want to work upon if we see this there is no example here okay but i think uh, the interviewer might want to see whether the binary tree the tree that we are assuming here is a uh, bst or not okay so you might want to add some logic to validate that if the binary tree is a bst or not if you are adding that that is well and good actually that is also not very complex okay this is very interesting serialize and deserialize bst is medium and serialize and deserialize binary tree is a hard problem for both of them anyway they have not given the solution which means again these are very important questions to you know practice or know before you go for a coding interview okay 
Thanks guys, thanks for watching, see you next time. Uh, this is a solution, yes, it will give you 100% 0 millisecond solution, but this is almost cheating, right? So don't do this, okay? But I would like to tell that sometimes, you know, this kind of cheating also help you clearing your first technical interview, the first coding interview. How and why? Because sometimes the first coding interviews are automated. You are given few questions like two to three questions and you have to uh, you know give the solutions and the system will validate whether you are through to the next round or not so at that particular time this kind of solution works i have seen that yeah this is a homework guys you might want to work on the you know this part as compact as possible i can think of some solution maybe i will you know give it in a different uh, session